Hi, this is Ted Bayhaus with Tech Rep Marketing. Today I'm at uh, Northern Sound and Light in lovely Pennsylvania on a sunny day, and I have with me one of the new QSC PLD amplifiers. Uh, the PLD amplifier and the CXD series of amplifiers are brand new for QSC. They uh, just recently released them. There's some very, very cool new technologies. This is an amp we've all been waiting for for actually for quite a while. These amplifiers do something completely different than anything else that's on the marketplace right now. One of the things is, is that they have something in here called FAST which is flexible amplifier summing technology. And that's all being done on a custom MOSFET output device sitting inside the amplifier. And the long and short of it is, it allows you to do something that you don't normally do with an amplifier. One of which is that you can combine the output channels of the amplifier any way that you want. So you can have all the power coming out of one output. I can have the power being shared by three outputs, by two outputs completely flexibly done uh, using a microprocessor that's sitting inside of the amplifier. So you can actually program it from the front panel and tell it how you want the output devices to work. The other thing that you have in here, both the PLD and the CXD amplifiers all have uh, four channels of inputs on those. And those inputs can either be mic, line level uh, inputs, you also have a very, very powerful, useful DSP processor that's sitting inside of the amplifier. So there's a couple things that we use that DSP for. One of which is the mixer on here and the DSP can be used to use one output, one input going to all of the outputs of the amplifier, for instance. Or if, let's say, for instance, you don't want to use a mixer, you want to plug a microphone directly into this or your audio sources directly into the amplifier and control the levels from the amplifier and save that as a preset, you're able to do that. In addition, some of the other things that you're able to do with this is that you have with QSC speakers like I have right here, which is the S series. Right now I've got a pair of S10s. These are uh, install speakers that we have. You can do the uh, intrinsic correction to those speakers. And what intrinsic correction does is that it basically it's DSP that fixes all the problems that are kind of intrinsic to the box itself. So some of the phase differences between the high and the low frequency driver, you know, fixing for different resonances in the box, and these kinds of things are all done in that uh, intrinsic correction algorithm. So when you use one of QSC's passive speakers, so the uh, ADS series, the S series, which is the S10, the S8, or the S12, or if you're using the new wooden uh, acoustic performance series speakers, all of those speakers have this intrinsic correction algorithm built into the amplifier itself. So the amplifier knows about the speaker and actually kind of matches itself to the, uh, to the situation that you have with that particular speaker. In addition, one of the things that's really cool about this too is that all the protection that the amplifier has, if the amplifier knows what the speaker, how the speaker is built and how what the output it can handle and all these kinds of things, the amplifier kind of will protect the speaker because it knows exactly what that speaker needs. So it, it makes it a lot, it makes a passive box work a lot more like an active box in the sense that the amplifier knows what it's attached to. And this has always been kind of the age-old problem with a with a passive speaker and an amplifier. Um, in addition to being able to work with QSC speakers, there's a lot of other presets in here that you can use with Mackie speakers, Yamaha speakers, some JBL speakers. So it is friendly with, uh, with other speakers as well. On top of the, this level of DSP, as far as matching the speakers, you also have the regular kinds of things that you would normally associate with like a drive rack or something like that, an external DSP. So you have crossovers, you have EQ, you have delay, these types of things. So um, what you wind up with is, a, is an amplifier that gives you a combination of, of you know, obviously very powerful, very flexible amplification, but also enough DSP to do a lot of custom things with it. So uh, these are available now at Northern Sound and Light. And um, there's three, uh, three amplifiers in the PLD. There's a PLD 4.2, a 4.3, and a 4.5. The maximum, the 5, is actually a 5,000 watt amplifier. There's also the CXD, which is a contractor versions of these amplifiers, which are 4.2, 4.3, and a, and a 4.5. And the difference between the two is that the contractor version of it actually has Phoenix connectors and will do 70 volt for installed sound. In addition, there's a new version of these amplifiers about to ship that says CXDQ, and the CXDQ versions of these amplifiers actually has a QLAN port on it so you can integrate it with with uh, QSC's very popular QSC uh, QSYS system. So um, thank you for your time and if you have any questions feel free to call uh, Northern Sound and Light and they can help you out.